Thrive just released a pretty big update to their webhook functionality that I created a video on, honestly, I think just a couple weeks ago, maybe about six weeks ago when they launched their brand new webhook feature. This update includes the ability to start mapping our fields dynamically based on the data that comes in through the webhook. So in this video, we're going to take a look back at that free course funnel that I created and show you how you can now map the first name and the last name to your autoresponder and to Thrive Apprentice. So here's that free course that I created. And you might remember that the user can enroll for free. They click on enroll in the training, they enter their first name and their last name and they register. Now, since I'm using a tool called ConvertBox, it's external to my WordPress website. That means that I need to get the data from ConvertBox to Thrive Apprentice, and to do so, we're going to use a tool called Thrive Automator. Thrive Automator, think of it kind of like Zapier for Thrive Suite. But as Thrive adapts and evolves this tool, we're starting to be able to do a lot more with it. So in this case, we're going to rebuild that exact same automation, but now I'm gonna show you how to map that new data. So for our trigger, we're going to choose an incoming webhook, and here's the webhook URL that you would want to copy into something like ConvertBox or another external tool that you're using. If you are using ConvertBox, it's pretty easy. Just select your form, go to form settings, integrations, and then add your webhook integration right here. Now a really neat feature is the ability to listen so that you can match the key and data types together automatically by sending in a test. However, because we're using ConvertBox, it's pretty straightforward. For our first name, it's just first underscore name. We're gonna click add new twice more. Last name is just last underscore name, and email is just email. If you were to click listen and submit a test, what it's going to do is automatically populate all of the data that comes in through the webhook, and then you can just delete and clean up what you want to use. For us, it's really easy. Our data type is just text for both the first and the last name and email for email. Now we can click done. Now it's time to choose an action for what happens when this webhook comes to our website with all of this data. In this example, we're going to find or create a user. Now the reason we're adding this step here is because we're ultimately going to tell this automation to do something. And we're going to tell it to do something to somebody who has an account on our website. And if they don't have an account, we need to create one, which is what this is going to do. And if they do have an account, we want whatever we're going to do to be matched to that user based on their existing account. Now here's the brand new part. We previously were unable to map our first and our last name. So we were just getting the email from that webhook and the rest of that data was just, I guess, coming into our website and not being used. But now we can take the first name, last name, and spoilers for the next video, we can take even more data that I'm going to show you how to use later. And then we can do whatever we want with it. So in this case, it's really easy. We're just going to click on this little dynamic data icon, go to webhook data, and we're going to map our first name to the first name of the user. And we're going to go to webhook data and map the last name of the user. Now we can leave the user role at subscriber and click done. Now we're going to add another action because we have to decide what to do with this data being matched or created into this account. If we're creating our free course funnel, we would grant access to a product. And then we can choose maybe our free course that we're doing and click done. We can add another action, and this is where we could add them to our autoresponder. So you can click view all, and then you can find add user and autoresponder. And here's where you can select the autoresponder or email marketing tool that you've integrated with Thrive Suite. For me, that's Fluent CRM. And then you can choose the lists and single or double opt-in and the tags that you want to apply for the user. And because we now have field mapping, don't forget to drop down this grayed out bar here. And I really do think this should have been a different color because it blends in so much with the background and you kind of miss it. But with this new field mapping option, drop this down here. Now we can select a key for us in Fluent CRM, it's going to be their name. And we can insert a value by clicking on the dynamic data option, choosing webhook data and choosing first name. and we can put a space in here and we can choose webhook data and choose last name. And what's really cool is Fluent CRM will parse that as the first name and the last name. When you have all of those settings for your autoresponder in place, just go ahead and click done. Now for our example, this automation is complete. We can give it a name in the upper left hand corner, publish it in the upper right hand corner, and then click save and finish. I'm gonna bring myself up in a little pip here just to kind of recap with you what we've created. We have data from an external tool, not part of our website at all, sending data to our website about a user. This could be a third party payment provider. This could be ConvertBox or, or another lead gen or segmentation tool. This could be an email marketing tool, maybe something like ActiveCampaign sending a webhook when somebody opts in for a freebie or anything that's going to send data. So that data is coming from another tool to our website. 
Then the next step, we're choosing what to do with that data, create an account or match that data to an existing account to identify our user. Then in our example, we gave access to one of our courses. This could have been a free course, or if you were sending it from a payment provider, this could have been a paid course. So this whole funnel could have been a paid course funnel. And lastly, in our example here, because our user was not in our autoresponder and we didn't send that from something like ActiveCampaign, we took that webhook where the user opted in essentially through ConvertBox and we said, now add them into our email marketing tool. This type of webhook dynamic data mapping is incredibly powerful. We're really starting to be able to do almost anything we want with all of our tools and make them work together. If you have any questions about Thrive Automator or Thrive Apprentice or any of Thrive Suite and how all of this works together, as always, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.